I know it's been a few weeks since I uploaded vlog 42, I'm sorry about the delay. I've had a busy term as usual. I'm now finished for Christmas, so I'm going to fill your Christmas holidays with videos from my term. Hopefully you see that as a good thing. And I've got a few other exciting videos coming soon from earlier this year as well, so you can look forward to those. But what I wanted to tell you about now is a collaborative live stream I'm doing this Sunday, so tomorrow the 14th of December, with Jamie and Simon, the two guys from Oxford who make videos, and we're going to be answering your questions live about Oxbridge applications or anything you want to know about Oxford and Cambridge. So that should be really fun, hopefully really helpful and informative for you guys, especially those of you who are having interviews right now, and if you are, Good luck with them, I hope they have gone slash are going well. Don't panic too much about it, you will be fine. And check the description for a link to the, the live stream thing that we're going to be doing tomorrow. And now I give you vlog 43 which starts with a rainy Monday morning. It's Monday morning, it's pouring down with rain. I really don't want to go outside but I have to go and walk to the computer lab now. Three lectures are on today, but I'm only going to two of them because I've decided I'm definitely dropping digital signal processing um, because that is just a horrible course. Then I'll come back here, probably still in the rain, and make some changes to my 100 word project brief and submit that by 3pm because they're really strict about that if you don't. If you don't submit your project by 3pm today, they just they kick you out of Cambridge and you don't get a degree. I mean, how harsh is that for not submitting a 100 word project brief in time? I walked halfway to the computer lab and got absolutely drenched, so I decided to get the bus for the rest of the journey. Made it in time for the first lecture, sat through two of them, um, skipping the third lecture as I said earlier. Now I'm just about back at Queen's, in time for lunch. The project proposal for this video summarisation thing is sent, hopefully to the correct email addresses, and I hope I get some sort of confirmation to say that they've received it, because I'm 40 minutes away from being kicked out of Cambridge. This page tells you what they do if you don't submit this proposal by 3pm and it says if you don't you're in breach of a regulation and will no longer be regarded as a candidate for the part 2 of the computer science tripos. And then this is the email that they'll apparently immediately send to the senior tutor along with the secretary of the applications committee of the council saying that this student has failed to submit a proposal, they're in breach of regulation 17 for the computer science tripos, which actually exists, I didn't know, I probably signed something three years ago to say that I'd follow these regulations, but this is the first time I've read them, and we would therefore no longer be eligible to be a candidate for computer science. I can't believe how harsh they are with with this. It's a, a little hundred word summary of our project idea that they want today. I mean, that's it. I mean, it gets a bit more real after today because by Friday this week they want a thousand words um, on a concrete solid idea. I don't know how I'm going to do that. That sounds horrendous. But I'm not worried about that yet. I've got five days. So believe it or not, I'm actually going out again tonight. Um, I don't know if I can handle this but there is some pub crawl happening. One of my friends just told me about it earlier today. I was like, okay, fine, let's do it. Only problem I've got is on Wednesday, I have to give a presentation to all the other Comskies at Queens about what I did over summer. And I have to make that presentation by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, and I haven't started it yet. Not quite sure how I'm gonna fit that in. Um, I've got like, what, 10 hours to do that? But we'll see, oh my God. <laughs> The, this start to term has not been the most productive, but fun at least. Vendor put his revs, which makes oh. a nice change from Life or Cindy's, which I end up in every week otherwise. Revs is quite a nice club. Yeah. I had a student card and a wristband, which both give me a discount, and I'll see which one gets me in for the cheapest price. So I actually managed to get up at half past six and submit a presentation, um, which I'm surprised I managed to do. Went back to bed, on my way to the lab now, missed the first lecture, but I'm actually going to make the 10 a.m. lecture and the ones after it, so that's not bad since I was out last night. And now I'll give myself a break from alcohol, I think, for the rest of the week. Well, I felt absolutely dreadful in those lectures. 
Um, but I made it through all three. Then I met with my supervisor for my project, discussed that. Now I need to write a thousand words, um, a thousand word proposal for my project by Friday at noon. So I basically don't have Friday to do it. So I've got today, tomorrow and Thursday. Hopefully that's long enough to write a thousand words. I don't have much else to do this week. I just stayed at the lab after lectures um, for a talk on mobile application development from some guy at Bloomberg. And I'll be honest, the main reason I stayed is because they had free pizza. But the talk turned out to be awful, actually. He started off with like really basic stuff, like to make an app you need an IDE, and an IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, and then suddenly jumped to show us random Objective-C, as though someone who's just learnt like how the very basic concept of programming can then suddenly pick up random code he's shown us. Then he just skipped straight to like live lock and deadlock problems and threading. Like completely irrelevant, you don't need to know this if you're just learning how to make an app for the first time. He told us really useful things like, as a programmer you'll write some code and a user experience team will look at the overall experience for the user. But I got free pizza so it wasn't too bad. This afternoon I need to write a 1000 word project proposal. Um, that's due tomorrow. I'm a little bit worried about that because I haven't started it yet and I don't really know what to write. I wonder what exactly is going on on this punt. Are they getting married? <laughs> In Cambridge, you never know about these things. It could always just be a college marriage. Some people take them very seriously, but I'm not sure anyone goes that far with a dress and everything. I don't know what I was thinking, it's not due tomorrow, it's due on Friday, today's only Wednesday, so I'm a lot less worried now, um, because I have all of tomorrow basically to write this. I've started, I'm doing it in LaTeX, I've, this is the best LaTeX editor that I've found for OS X so far, it's called um, Technical, with an X. The LaTeX editors are generally terrible in my opinion, from what I've found. Anyway, so this is going okay. Um, it only has to be 500 to 1,000 words. I reckon I can get that done tomorrow. And I've, I've been asked if I want to go out again tonight, and I really wasn't planning to. But I might. It is 10 to 11 now. As long as I don't stay out too late, I won't feel awful tomorrow. I feel guilty for going out though because like my, I've got a friend who's in the library right now doing his proposal. Hopefully things will work out alright. I've literally never been out this much in such a short space of time. It's going to be like the what fifth, sixth time since I came back. I've been back a week and a half. If you're a fresher, go for this. Have fun. I'm a third year. I'm in my final year. I... <laughs> I shouldn't be going out every day like a fresher. Oh well, I'm going out with another third year, so at least that makes two of us.